We're here at Laumeyer Sculpture Park. Let's take a look at some sculptures and also pick up some geocaches. So why don't you join me? Some of the sculptures in this park are very elaborate and then some are quite simple. This area or this sculpture is called the pool complex. So as you can see it's a pool without water. There it is. Nice little light. All good to go? Why don't you come and get it? Sounds like the, the bark is worse than the bite. Nor a dog inside, or an animal of any sort. Cromlech Glen was inspired by a visit Pepper made to the jungle and gulf ruins in Cambodia. Pepper selected and designed Cromlech Glen to be an integral part of this heavily wooded environment. This one looks like sort of a Aztec type building. And it's simply made out of wood. Interesting shapes inside as well. Well, this one took me off the trail. Not too sure whether I'm supposed to be off the trail or not, but we'll uh, keep on looking for it. Lots of places it could be, and I'm getting a little bit anxious, especially with those mosquitoes chasing me around. And I think I've spotted it. Track to come and see it. I think I better shave. All good to go. The clue on this one is chest eye, and it looks like it's inviting us off the trail once again. So let's take a look. Oh, it's telling us we're right here. That's chest eye. And we'll have a look around. I had to join the uh, DNF crew on that one. Had a quick look for it, but uh, the last three or four people have gone after it and it came up short, and so I'm going to move on to the next one. A one hour visit to this park doesn't do it justice. There's so much to be seen when it comes to the sculpture. As I said before, there's plenty of geocaches as well, so probably have to take a full day. I think this is the place where they get the supplies for the ice sculptures. And it looks like we're going to be getting off the trail once again. So let's dive in and see if we can make the find. 24 feet, let's cross this dry brook and let's see if we can make it. Ah, it's an interesting spot. Well, you had me fooled on this one. Looked high and low and in and out and made the find. I won't let anybody know where it is. They can have the adventure of coming to find this one as well. Interesting spot. Nice setup. Well worth the uh, getting off the trail to make the find. 
All good to go? Why didn't you come and get it? Not too sure what this one is, so I think I'll just uh, eyeball it. This piece is called Wood Henge and it's completely made out of steel, would you believe? The Laumeyer Park features more than 60 large-scale sculptures by internationally acclaimed artists among the 105 acres of the park. is part of the Merrimack and Mississippi watershed and there's lots of trails to help you on your adventure in exploring this area. We always have time for one more cache so we'll pick one up on the way out of the park. And there it be. All back in place. Why don't you come and make the find? Not sure what all the coat hangers are about. I'll come and end you next month. Like I said before, there's uh, lots to observe when it comes to the sculptures, and there's lots to find when it comes to the geocaches. I've picked up a few today, but I'll be back again to uh, pick up those ones I didn't get to. So just remember, keep on caching. <laughs>